Here's question 17. We have x times x plus 4 divided by x minus 3, which is less than or equal to 0. So we have our three terms here. And the first one, well, it's just x, is 0. And the next one is x plus 4 is equal to 0. We set that equal to 0. And we're doing this so that we can see the points where the uh, where the inequalities are either 0 or where the different parts are 0, where they're undefined, where they're negative, where they're positive. And then we can properly evaluate. So we set x plus 4 equal to, equal to 0, which if we solve for x means x is equal to negative 4, then x plus 4 is 0. Okay, we set x plus 3, x minus 3 equal to 0, and if I add 3 to both sides, that gives me x is equal to 3, then x minus 3 is 0. Okay, we put these three things on the number line, and that makes seven different regions. The region less than negative 4, the region equal to negative 4, the region between negative 4 and 0, the point where x is 0, the region between 0 and 3, the point where x is 3, and the region greater than 3. All right, so we're going to put that into a chart. And so we're looking at when x is less than 4, when x is equal to negative 4, sorry, when x is less than negative 4, when x is equal to negative 4, when x is between negative 4 and 0, when x is equal to 0, when x is between 0 and negative 3, when x is equal to 3, and when x is greater than 3. And so what we're doing is, well, if x is less than negative 4, x is negative. If x is negative 4, x is negative. If x is between negative 4 and 0, it's still negative. If x is equal to 0, well, it's 0. If x is between 0 and 3, it's positive. If it's equal to 3, it's positive. If it's greater than 3, it's positive. If um, x is less than 4, like negative 5, for example, negative 5 plus 4 is negative 1, so that's negative. If x is equal to negative 4, negative 4 plus 4 is 0. If x is anything greater, it's going to be positive, by the way. Right? Like, for example, if x is between negative 4 and 0, like it's negative 1, negative 1 plus 4, is 3, which is positive. So the rest of these are all positives. Um, x minus 3. If x is less than 4, we have negative 4 minus 3 is negative 7. Okay, if x is, or sorry, less than negative 4, it's like negative 5 minus 3 is negative 8. If it is negative 4, you get negative 7. If it's between negative 4 and 0, like it's negative 1, negative 1 minus 3 is negative 4, so that's negative. If it's equal to 0, 0 minus 3 is negative 3, which is 0, which is negative, sorry. If it's between 0 and 3, like for example, if it's 2, 2 minus 3 is negative 1, so it's negative. If it's equal to 3, 3 minus 3 is 0. If it's greater than 3, like it's 4, take away 3, that's positive. Okay, so we get all negatives, 0, and a positive. Now we're going to look at the whole rational expression. Okay, so the numerator is the first two, and the denominator is the last one. So a negative times a negative divided by a negative is negative. A negative times 0 divided by a negative is 0 divided by anything is 0, except for all right, here we have a negative times a positive, which is a negative, divided by negative is positive, so we have an even number of negatives, it is positive. All right, we have zero on top, divided by whatever is zero. Here we have positive divided by the negative is negative. Here we have division by zero, which is undefined, and here we have positive divided by positives, which is positive. All right, so I'm going to transcribe these to our number line. So when x is less than negative 4, um, the whole rational expression is negative, when x is equal to 4, the whole rational expression is 0. When x is between negative 4 and 0, the whole rational expression is positive. When x is equal to 0, the rational expression is 0. When x is between 0 and 3, the rational expression is negative. When x is equal to 3, the whole rational expression is undefined. When x is greater than 3, the whole rational expression is positive. And we're looking for when the whole rational expression is less than 0 or equal to 0. Okay, so negative or 0. Right? This is negative. Okay, and this is zero. So we're talking about from negative infinity all the way up to negative four, including four, because when it is four, it's zero. Okay, so negative infinity to negative four inclusive. And then um, if it's zero here, and it's negative um, between zero and three. So we're talking about from zero to three, but, it's, but at three it's undefined, so three is not included. Okay, so from zero included, up to three not included. And then we put a median between them, and that's it. There's your answer. Okay, so negative infinity not included, to 4 inclusive, union 0 inclusive, up to 3 not included. And that's it for question number 17. Have a good day.